squad running off 10 wins in a row, coming off another Patriot League regular season crown. The team in maroon wins the tap, and we are underway. Great to have you tuned in. We're courtside live here in Worcester, Mass. Just two games to go in the regular season. March is upon us. Moffitt feeds the big man down low. That's Keegan Records. Bumping on Jarrell Gates. Backs him down, kicks it out. Good defense there by Gates. Six to shoot. Ferguson, handoff, corner three. No good, off the 10, kept alive momentarily by Records, but it's Holy Cross basketball. Well, so, nice defensive stop, Kevin, for Holy Cross. They started exactly how they wanted to in that first possession. Kyrell Luke, third straight week. He is Rookie of the Week in this conference. No other player has more Rookie of the Week awards. And if you ask Brett Nelson, he said, I'm not just biased. I'm telling you, this is the most impactful freshman in the conference. There's no doubt. Wing three, missed it, and a rebound to Colgate. That's Jack Ferguson, another one of those seniors. Richardson into the paint. Turnaround. Nice bounce off the back iron. Jack Ferguson led the Raiders in double figures on Monday night with 15 points in that regular season clinching victory against American. Kevin, this Colgate team is probably the most balanced team. Obviously, they're a veteran team, but they're probably the most balanced team in the entire league. So many different scorers. Four of them got into double figures last time against Holy Cross. Luke is 0 for 2 from the floor. Colgate has a 2-0 lead. Records like so many of these bigs around the Patriot League can step out and make shots from range as well. Colgate can hit you from all angles to the baseline. Nice hanger by Richardson, and he draws the blocking foul. Well, Richardson certainly trying to take advantage of his height on that possession for Colgate. Look Ed at the record for Matt Langle. Three regular season titles in the last four years. But you go back and look at his first three seasons, 2-12, and 5-9, and 6-12. and 12. It can show you the growing pains for new coaches like a Brett Nelson in this league. It is hard to separate from the pack. It's taken more than a decade to become the new standard in this league. But when you ask Matt Langle, as we did earlier today, what it takes, he said, it, it's the little things, day by day, players connected, a lot of unity among his upperclassmen, and it's paying major dividends. This group is 14-2 and two in league. Coming off the foul against Kyrell Luke, it's Bo Montgomery dropping in the first shot of the game. He's been the X factor beyond Luke and Gates. If you can get Bo Montgomery going offensively, that's the key to the Crusaders' victory. Well, Bo certainly has risen to the occasion over the course of the... Ferguson, not to Keegan Records, made it look easy down low. This is a very unselfish Colgate team. Doesn't matter who the leading scorer is. They really aren't looking to get their name in highlights. They're looking to get the W at the end of the night. No surprise, Colgate leading the conference in assists on the baseline. Nice moves by Kenny, left it short. Caleb Kenny has really grown into his spot in the front court. Kenny, Dorsey, and Gates, all about six foot six, but offer so many different skill sets. Richardson, top side three, he's got it. First triple of the game for the team in maroon, and the Raiders lead 9-2. Well, Kevin, you look at Colgate and their three-point shooting ability, they've got three of the top 10 scoring three-point field goal players in the entire league. Holy Cross's turn, Dorsey's got a three to take the lid off. Nolan Dorsey shooting 33% from deep this season, just his 10th make as he's getting more time in the starting five. Six start, and Records has an answer off the glass. Well, nice slip by Records, but an outstanding bounce pass into the post. Colgate is four of its last five from the floor. Highly efficient offense. You can see why they're leading this league in scoring. Gates showing the ball high, nearly stripped by Cummings. Extra pass, that's Dorsey's three. Couldn't go back to back. Nice offensive rebound by Gates. Goes up strong and gets the bank. Gerald Gates, the lone senior for Holy Cross, coming off a team best 18 points, seven boards against Lafayette. He'll need to do even more against the first place Raiders. Corner pocket three, no good, and fouled on the shot. It's a first on Kenny, and Jackson Ferguson will take three at the line. 
Well, really important for Holy Cross is closing out on their three-point shooters. However, you just can't get that foul. Kenny got there a little bit too late, made contact. Two team fouls on Holy Cross, none for the Raiders. First one good for Jack Ferguson, senior from Fort Wayne, Indiana. Posted a career-high 25-point shooting right over the top of that famed Jim Beheim zone defense back on November 20th. A result that drew the attention of college basketball fans all over the country. A 185 win at Syracuse. First time since 1952 that Colgate got the win over Cuse. And Kevin, that really set a tone for the non-conference season. Things got a little bit tougher from there. Colgate rattled off five losses heading into the new year, playing a really tough schedule, but they found a way to flip the switch in the Patriot League calendar. Well, I think that that is one of the important factors that, that Coach wanted to put in, and that is challenging his players against great teams. Kenny had to back out of the paint. Good defense by records. Luke trying to dribble out of the corner. Feeds Gates with eight to shoot. Shows it up high. Steps into the lane, picked up his dribble. Now off the pivot. Gates got it on the turnaround. He's getting so much craftier in the lane. Well, I'll tell you, that was a great move by him inside that low post. And you're absolutely correct. I don't want to date myself, but he's starting to create some. I find the last time these, well, the first time these two teams got together, that was back when Connie Simmons was the leading scorer. And Honey Russell was the head coach. After a long rebound, Jarrell Gates hands it off to Luke. Can you tell me a little bit more about Connie Simmons' game back then? Long before my time. <laughs> You're trying to date me here, but that's okay. <laughs> I think he averaged in single digits and, and was the leading scorer on that team. Dorsey's triple. He's got another. Two deep ones for Nolan Dorsey, the sophomore from Nightdale, North Carolina, made the transfer from New Mexico where he scored just seven points in a single season. Cummings can't hit the hanger. And Dorsey gets the board out of the corner. Nice burst for the Crusaders out of the timeout. Well, Jarrell Gates picked up the assist to Nolan Dorsey that last time. He got doubled in the post and was able to kick it out. Deshaun Humphrey dives inside. Too strong. Gates got the board. Offensive rebounds will go a long way for Holy Cross in this game. Humphrey's three. Back iron. And a rebound to Tucker Richardson, who had the position on Gates. It was nice seeing three white jerseys hitting that offensive glass that time down. Team rebounding is going to be the key. This is an undersized front line for Holy Cross. Nice high feed to Records. Left it short. Second chance and one. Records goes to the line. Well, again, Keegan Records, 6'10", real tough inside. Might have gotten hit the first time. Nice lob pass inside. Dorsey rotates from the weak side, just got there late. Records keeps himself in a position to get that offensive rebound and put back and an opportunity for a three-point play. First foul on Humphrey off the bench. He's been a spark plug so far. Records good, shooting just 57% from the free throw line. Took four of the first six shots of the game against Holy Cross. Last time these teams got together, February 7th, in Hamilton, New York, really established a post presence right away. He went on to lead the scoring in that game. Holy Cross just trying to deny him a little bit more, force those high feeds into the post and not make it so easy for him to work in the paint. So Records goes to the bench for a break. And Jeff Woodward at 6'11 comes into the ball game for Colgate. Here's the thing, they've got waves of bigs they can throw at you and that includes this sophomore Woodward going to battle with Gates. Richardson outside the arc, works around that screen. Skip pass. Deflected, turnover. Off goes Humphrey. He rises and scores. Nice layup in transition. It's a four point game. Nice job defensively by the Crusaders that time, creating a turnover and finishing at the other end. Oh, three point game, backdoor cut. Moffitt lost the feed. Woodward says, my bad, that was a little bit too low. Well, it was a good look. There's the defense, that smothering defense early on here for Holy Cross. Great finish, Dejan Humphrey. Humphrey's made five starts this season, done a majority of his work 
off the bench. High level three point shooting potential, but we've seen him drive the basketball a little more the last handful of games. Montgomery couldn't score off the baseline. Away goes Ryan Moffitt. He's been outstanding defending Gerald Gates throughout the last two seasons. Don't forget, this is the sixth time these two teams have met in the last 12 months. Brett Nelson says, oh yeah, I know Matt Langle's team. Outside Woodward, eight to shoot. Luthem Koulibaly giving him space at the elbow. Cummings hoists a three, no good. Great position defense yet again by the Crusaders. Back to Gates, why not? He's two for two from the floor. Spins it out. Humphrey on the drive, draws the foul. So an attacking mindset has really helped Dejon Humphrey change the momentum of this game. Well, you take a look here. You talk about attraction. Jarrell Gates, whenever he touches the basketball, he ends up with two to three defensive players double and tripling down on him. Foul was called on Oliver Lynch Daniels, his first. Senior from Chapel Hill coming off the bench to join this game. Yeah, you said it right. It, it, it takes an army to defend Gerald Gates because of the natural gifts he has. A lot of teams just set a center on him. Yes, he is a center at six foot six, but someone else needs to chase him around because he takes shots like those, missed it from the elbow. Sam Thompson in the ball game for Colgate, another six niner. Last two games, he's just one of five from the floor. Colgate's gone scoreless the last two minutes, 10 seconds. Cummings dips in. A lot of white jerseys there, nearly walked with it. Thompson couldn't keep it alive. Away go the Crusaders. Luke, transition three, rolls it in. Kyrell Luke shooting 36% from three this season. If he can get it hot from three, Holy Cross is gonna be a lot more dangerous. We've got a tie game. Oh, a little shoot is touch there by Kyrell. Heart Center comes alive for the first time, trying to encourage this defense. Nearly three minutes without a bucket for Colgate. Woodward, six to shoot. Trouble down low, Woodward rises up and hits off the glass with just one second to spare. Well, great job by Woodward with the shot fake, getting the Holy Cross defense off their feet and a nice left-handed finish. Woodward in all rookie team selection last year, no good for Gates. And off goes Richardson trying to push the pace. Transition three, that's good. Off the hand of Oliver Lynch Daniels. One of four Colgate players ranked top 10 league-wide in three-point percentage. These Raiders can score in bunches from deep. Well, he's averaging, he's number one actually in three-point field goal percentage at 51%. Is that good? Not bad. Luthem Koulibaly, the big man from Canada, setting a screen for Luke. Kept his pivot, his shot too strong, and right to the hands of Jeff Woodward. Back inside, it goes a lot of contact. Tapped out by the Cruz. Nearly 900 minutes already played so far this season. He's been relied upon heavily after RJ Johnson, the sophomore who was expected to start at point guard, went down with a torn ACL. Out of the timeout, Woodward. Sealed deep. Kick out, three on the way, that's good. Off the hand of Tucker Richardson. A do-it-all player became the first in program history to reach 1,000 points, 500 rebounds, 400 assists, these Raiders do it all, Kev. Well, like I said, they're exceptionally balanced. Right now, Kevin, this is a crucial time for Holy Cross. Two bodies on Gates inside. Luke into the lane, hits with the right. Kyrell Luke staying aggressive. He scored six of the first eight points for Holy Cross the last time these teams got together. He scored 16 in the first half. There's a push, offensive foul. It's going on Jeff Woodward. Good draw by Luthem Koulibaly. Nice job by Koulibaly as he's bellying up. You take a look at it. Woodward, as we talked about, he's a big boy. There's that little chicken wing, if you will, with that left arm. Koulibaly, we've talked all season long about 
his ability to rebound, but his head coach has said he's been working on the physicality of the game. At six foot nine, still adding some muscle, still working into the mentality of the Patriot League, where you got to battle for that space down low. Pure off the hand of Bo Montgomery. He is getting more confident in the way he pulls up and creates offense for himself. Nice soft touch, Holy Cross scoring the last two trips down. So they're answering the bell. And another misconnection on the baseline. This time, too hot to handle from Sam Thompson. So Holy Cross reading these plays well. We saw Holy Cross really struggle, especially with the backdoor cuts against the service academies earlier in the Patriot League season. Absolutely, and so far tonight, I think that Holy Cross overall has done exceptionally well on those cuts. Gates spins baseline, sheds a man, dumps it middle to Kenny. That falls in for two more. We got a two-point game with eight and change to go in the first. Again, nice assist there. Caleb Kenny coming down the lane and the lefty right up over the top. No look pass to the baseline. Thompson in a tight spot. Oh, nice hesitation and then a strong finish. Colgate's getting hot. Raiders have hit five of their last six. Montgomery, whoa, nearly went up and down with it. Dorsey, it's been a man possessed early on, turned it over. Already two made threes. They're gonna say it was deflected out of bounds. So we'll stay here with 16 on the shot. But credit to Dorsey, we haven't seen him take a lot of threes, haven't seen him gain that kind of confidence in the offense so far this season. That could be a huge step in his development. Well, I think that Nolan Dorsey is a player that's going to take advantage of what the defense will give him. So if he has space, he's going to take that shot. Gates rattles it in with the shot clock falling down. Quick transition, Ferguson outside the arc. This is Richardson, hangs and hits. Ferguson to Richardson, nice combo. Colgate again. Out and running, great job in transition. Oh, Luke through the trees. The level of difficulty on some of the shots he's made this season, high above the level of a rookie. Well, again, for his size to go in and up over the top like that, outstanding shot. We talk a lot about their notoriety from three, but when we talked with Matt Langle earlier today, he said he still loves the way this offense works inside out. Well, they take advantage of the height that they certainly have, but their ability to score the basketball outside the perimeter opens up that inside. Cummings, aggressive take and rolls it in. Oh. Yeah, don't get it twisted. This is not a Colgate team that just shoots it from all angles. They're not really built like a Cinderella that's just gonna take a million shots in March Madness. They're, they're built to work their offense through the paint. Turnover by Martindale, who just checked in. He's trying to get it to Kenny Low. Transition three, side rim no. Lynch Daniels off the miss, races back up the floor. Montgomery trying to beat him there. Step back three, in and out. Nice rebound by Kenny, and a foul on the floor. A well, nice position by Caleb Kenny. Holy Cross, here he, as he goes to the sidelines, Holy Cross will retain possession on that foul. Jack Ferguson picked up his first personal third team foul, just four fouls for Holy Cross, clean first half. And that should keep the pace moving. Teams have combined to hit 11 of their last 13. It's been fun to watch. Well, Colgate has been very efficient, but Holy Cross on the defensive end has done a great job overall. Montgomery missed a tough shot on the drive. Ryan Moffitt spins it to the corner. Lynch Daniels hops in, too strong. Records backs him up. Keegan records four of five from the floor, nine points, four rebounds. What else is new for one of the best bigs in the Patriot League? Well, you talk about having a great nose for the ball. There was a missed shot, and of course, Keegan's coming in from that weak side, gets the rebound and lays it in off the window. Going for his third double-double in the last five games, Koulibaly got pushed hard by records. Easy foul to call, and it's a first on the senior center, excuse me, the junior center from South Kingstown, Rhode Island. New England kid who, unfortunately, for teams around the Patriot League, might have to see him again next year. He's not going anywhere yet. 
Maybe that was wishful thinking. <laughs> well, that yeah, it certainly would be. But it's difficult. You don't know how many years players have left. We had talked about this off camera. Uh, that's a, absolutely right. It's a conversation that Crusader fans will be having about Gerald Gates, the lone senior on the roster for the Crusaders. Here is Gates with four to shoot. Into the lane, turn around. No rim, shot clock violation. Well, nice job defensively. You've got to credit Colgate. Terrell Gates really didn't have much of an opportunity other than to let it fly. Brett Nelson has said he is the undisputed leader, and he says, look, gee, this is your team. So when the clock is winding down, they want to give Terrell Gates room to make those plays. Zero on zero, Cummings laid it off to records, bumping bodies with Koulibaly, and it's a foul on the floor. Uh, they're calling Koulibaly for that bump inside the paint. But again, it's going to be very physical inside there. You know, Records is 6'10", he's long, he can score the basketball. you got to belly up with him and get a body on him. Records trying to hand out some fouls. Contested three, no good for Ferguson. Koulibaly was called for his first. Back come the Crusaders. Nifty pass into the corner. Dorsey, no look to Luke. The first year, kicks out. Montgomery closed off well. Nice move there by Oliver Lynch Daniel. His time in late December during a one and eight stretch for Colgate. Didn't quite look themselves during that time. Luke lost the dribble. It's a turnover. Moffitt leading the break. Easy finish. Four for five from the floor. How can Holy Cross slow down these bigs for the Raiders? Well, Keegan Records, one of the things he does so very well is move without the basketball. So you're going to have to side front everywhere he goes to try to deny him the basketball, Kev. Six to shoot. Koulibaly working on the block. No good on the hook shot. Took that out of Gerald Gates' playbook. Not a bad look. He was calling for the basketball, which is a good thing. Quick hitter to Records inside, and that's a dime from Jack Ferguson. Well, just under four minutes, crucial point again for Holy Cross here. Colgate, you can't give them very much space. Largest lead of the game for the Raiders. Gates battling with Moffitt. You know, Kevin, if you watch Jarrell Gates, you've got Keegan Records from the weak side. No good, and Records gets the rebound and a foul on the follow by Holy Cross. That's exactly the way Matt Langle drew it up. Put Moffitt right on Gates and then let Records either apply the help defense or just clean up the mess on the other side. Well, take a look here at Colgate. Great job on the penetration to the basket, outstanding pass inside. And when Records gets a basketball there, it's very much like Gates, he's not gonna miss. You know what's scary about Keegan Records, even in games where he's not an offensive showcase, that's a little strong in the lane by Cummings. He impacts the game in other ways. Beat Army earlier this year, didn't take a single field goal attempt. Pass finds its way to Montgomery. In and out on the three, just not falling for the Crusaders from range. They've cooled off, now three of eight outside. So it's hard to believe that Records didn't even take a shot, but you're absolutely correct. Whoa, Kyrell Luke. Climbed a tree to get that rebound off the miss by Cummings. Well, he came out of nowhere from the weak side and it sure shows you his jumping ability. Oh, Woodward got over on Gates there. Great position, had the reach advantage. Final two and change here in the first half. Colgate's opened up a double digit lead. Woodward, high post. Wants Moffitt, goes outside instead. Richardson glides in, hits it off the glass. Nice angle for the kid from Flemington, New Jersey. Last year, Patriot League third team selection, led the team in minutes. He's out there a lot. Very experienced, nice job that time. Little runner off the window. Again, creating space as he's getting into the lane. Holy Cross has gone scoreless, five and a half minutes. Gates trying to change that. Offloaded to Montgomery, no good. Moffitt's got the rebound. It's a 10-0 run for the Raiders. Woodward closed down by Dorsey. And no shot, foul on the floor. 
Well, Nolan Dorsey at 6'5", doing the best he can on that huge mismatch with the big man. So a first foul on Dorsey and a seventh on Holy Cross. We'll put big Jeff Woodward at the line for a one and one. Dorsey has been so explosive defensively. Like you said, working hard, out of position there just to keep Woodward at bay. Former all-rookie team selection last year, sixth year in a row, Colgate had an all-rookie selection, so they don't just rebuild, they reload. Well, and that was with an abbreviated season, so he really didn't even get his freshman year under his belt. Corner three, too strong. Kenny gets it in the corner. It's kept alive by Woodward, and good luck for Caleb Kenny, who was outsized. Luke hustles in, Kenny lost it. Ripped away by Tucker Richardson. Very difficult when you're a forward and you put the ball to the deck inside the paint. You've got all those hands. Nice cut, Moffitt outside for three. Fouled on the shot, three shots coming for Nellie Cummings and it was Judson Martindale on the foul. Well, once again, Colgate doing a great job. Textbook offense, they get the defensive collapse and then the kick out. There's Woodward, and there's that kick out. Martindale, for most of his career so far, a three-point specialist. Coach is trying to encourage him to fly around, rebound, chase the ball, make plays on defense, but that was a little too far, fouling a three-point shooter. Well, again, it's a matter of getting out there really late. Students trying to interrupt Nellie Cummings, and it worked that time. 13-point game with 55 seconds to go here in the first. Kenny will get a breather. Nolan Dorsey, all energy, right back out there. Nelson said, I recruited Dorsey directly out of high school. Really good size for a guard, and they reconnected here after that short stay at New Mexico. Dorsey, second leading scorer with six. Kyrell Luke leading them all with seven for the Crusaders. Gates into Moffitt, steps through the double, goes up strong. And above that clip for tonight. Matt Langle said, this is not a team that's going to press or trap a lot. Not focused on forcing turnovers, just playing good defense with their backs to the basket. And we've seen it so far. It's an 11-point lead for the regular season champs. They've locked in the one seed for the third time in the last four seasons. And they're hoping to hold home court in Hamilton all the way to the automatic bid to the NCAA tournament. Last year they had a 17 point lead in the first half against Arkansas before it melted away down the stretch. Can they get back to the big dance? Cummings with four to shoot. Tries to cross up Martindale. Missed it short. Fresh shot clock. Cummings up against three white jerseys. Now the three game right back here at the Hart Center next Tuesday night at 7 p.m. American is 2-0 against the Crusaders this season. So even if you get a hosting duty against one of the bottom two teams in this league, you're still in for a fight. Second half underway, Montgomery's triple, front rim. Moffitt's got the easy rebound. So Kev, a lot left to be decided in this league. Seems like everyone behind Colgate is fighting for positioning. Well, it's a whole new season once you start the playoffs. Whole new battle between records and gates. And Keegan Records picks up right where he left off. Now 13 points on six of seven shooting. Nice soft touch over the top. Little baby hook. Again, Records just a formidable opponent in the post. Kenny floats it up high, goes after his own miss. Boom, Montgomery with the flush. Well, nice job by Montgomery coming right down the lane. Outstanding pass into the post. That was a great hustle play by Kenny to go after the miss, draw the attention, and Montgomery drove right down the middle. Now he's getting bumped by Records. Held on as long as he could. Got the stop. Records, no good. 0 for 2 that time down, and Gates got poked in the face. Well, very physical inside the paint. Dorsey missed. Already two threes in this game. Went a little quiet down the stretch of the first half offensively. 
14 point lead for the one seed going into the Patriot League tournament. Moffitt laying the lumber now. Outside it goes. Richardson's got another three and throws his palms up. He said, I can't miss. He's four of five. I mean, this is one of those nights, Kev, where a guy is just feeling it, and it's really unfair when it's Colgate because they have about three or four guys that seem to feel it on any given night. Well, here's Colgate again in transition. They dump it into Keegan. Four players like this on any given night. There's just so much depth for the for the Raiders. Let alone Cummings. You know, I mean, they're just, again, they're, they're the most balanced team, probably one through eight in the entire league. But they're consistent, Kevin. They're consistent in everything they do on the offensive end and the defensive end. Out of the timeout, nice pass by Gates to Kenny. And it's a 17-point game with 17 and change to go. Gates did a great job of threading the needle. Tough pass to go block to block. Nice look. Cummings says, don't forget about me. Records kept it alive into the hands of Luke. Humphrey thought about the transition three. Kenny spins it out. Montgomery, that's three. Bo Montgomery hits his first three of the game. He's got nine. Well, right back at it. Colgate very quickly down the floor. Loosened up by Bubba Humphrey off the bench. He was a nice spark plug defensively in the first. Records all take this, left it short, gets the rebound. And tapped out by the Raiders, so it's Holy Cross basketball. Well, nice job by Keegan Records of following his miss. Holy Cross sharing the basketball. Caleb Kenny with the kick out. Bo Montgomery draining the three. Brett Nelson has told us, I hate seeing the ball carried up slowly and I have to call a set. He said, I want to see our team playing with pace. Five, six passes, get things moving. Well, again, very, very important. Holy Cross set solid screens against this Colgate team. Montgomery through the contact, offloads Kenny off the box. Little run by Holy Cross, 7-0. And it's a 12-point game, don't go anywhere. Well, right now, Holy Cross doing a nice job of answering the bell. It was at a point where Colgate had opened it up and it looked like it was going to end up being a blowout. Cummings, and records easy. <laughs> nice score by Keegan Records again inside. Big hop by Luke, turned it over. Richardson. Now Ferguson. Dumps it down low, and Kenny's on the ground first. Oh, I'm Kevin Gale, sitting courtside with Kevin Wells. Great to have you tuned in. Final two home games of the regular season. Next up, Saturday against Army West Point for senior night. And there's only one senior to speak of on the floor. It's Jarrell Gates leading his team. Blocked a shot. Kicked back out. New chance. Ferguson draws the foul. N offensive foul. It's a turnover and a rare one for Colgate, just the sixth of the game. Well, two great plays by Holy Cross. You get a block and then a charge. Great position by Kyrell Luke as he takes the hit, takes one for the team. Second foul on Jack Ferguson. First team foul here in the second half. Our three officials have been quiet. Mike McCloskey, Bill McCarthy, and Mike Nardone. Bo Montgomery leading the scoring for Holy Cross. Not a lot of options beyond him. Nearly turned over, Luke got back to it. Humphrey drew the foul on the drive. Well, nice job by Luke getting back to what would have been an errant pass and a turnover. Second foul on Lynch Daniels. Houston Baptist transfer. Scored a season high 11 points here at Holy Cross last year. Gates trying to back down his man. That's Moffitt. Double comes. Slipped baseline. Kenny threw it up. Offensive board. Got the second chance. No quit for Caleb Kenny. That's what we've come to expect from the first year. Well, again, you know, the freshman going up strong. 
Oh, too easy, left short and records. Gets his easiest bucket of the night. He's got 19, Richardson has 20. Colgate doing a nice job again on the offensive glass there. Offensive foul as Caleb Kenny set the illegal screen. Well, you take a look at it here. Here's Colgate going hard to the basket, misses the bunny. But again, Keegan records there just to kind of tip it home. While we were away, records couldn't go up with it. Luke's transition three, back iron. Back and forth they go. 14 point spread for Colgate here late. No look pass, turned over. Dorsey got a gift, Moffitt in his pocket. Not a good pass by Colgate at all. Gates walks in, couldn't hit it. If that's not falling for Jarrell Gates, could be a tough comeback road for the Crusaders. His mid-range game has been his best weapon in league play. Last few trips, Holy Cross taking the first look that they have at the basket. And that's not what Brett Nelson wants. He wants a handful of passes before they get into shot mode. Seven to shoot now for the Raiders. Spin by Moffitt. Back outside, Lynch Daniels. Nice pass, left short, records third chance, hoop and harm. This guy just gets everything he wants on the low block. Records closing in on his own career high. Well, you take a look at where he is. He never, ever, ever leaves himself out of position to get a missed shot. And again, He's so long, so at 6'10", he's got a long wingspan. You know, he's very difficult to defend in the post. Records had a career best 25 points against Navy back on January 13th. He's now got a team best 21 points in this game to go along with 11 rebounds. Back to a 16 point lead for Colgate. Gates slips through for two. Nice move by Jarrell, takes it baseline with the reverse layup, outstanding finish. Gates is a guy that's gonna play 37, 38 minutes a game, and he leaves it all on the floor. Tapped pass, stays with Colgate. Lynch Daniels got turned away, Gates was there. Luke got in the air, Moffitt hangs, short, goes back up, got it. Moffitt trying to call for the basketball to take advantage of his height with Kyrell Luke guarding him. Luke swings it through and scores. Nice answer by Kyrell Luke, but on the other end, second chance points starting to pile up for Colgate. 14-6 lead for the Raiders. Cummings hangs in and out. Records nearly got another board. Now he's got it and three at the strike, but he's doing everything else right. 21 points, 12 boards. I'm a nitpicker, you know. <laughs> Just a tad. Just find some little oh. problem. Martindale got undercut, and that's a foul. It's called on Tucker Richardson. First personal on Richardson, who, who just joining us, can't miss. He's two of two at the line, four of five from three, seven of eight from the floor. This team is shooting 54% as a group. Gates got fouled. And it's on Lynch Daniels, so that's his third. So there's Lynch Daniels at 6-2 matching up. Last time down with Gates in the post. Takes a lot of bodies to guard Jarrell Gates, especially with all the minutes he plays. Driving in is Humphrey, double clutch for two. Dejon Humphrey could be ready to take the next step in his game. Don't forget, suffered an early injury this season like R.J. Johnson, who's still out. Gerald Gates took a while to get comfy. Humphrey still inexperienced for a sophomore. There could be a big breakout ahead. Great hang time as he went to the basket with three defenders on him. Eight to shoot for the Raiders. Woodward, high post. Still has it, three to shoot. Turn around, got it. Who knew? Jeff Woodward from mid-range. Well, he definitely didn't look like he was looking to shoot the basketball. 
Told you all these guys can shoot. Gates nearly fumbled it. Nice find in the corner. Dorsey's got the three. A career game from range for Nolan Dorsey. The sophomore is three of five outside. Woodward, who was guarding Dorsey, got caught inside. Nice kick out for Holy Cross. And Dorsey knocks down the trifecta. Holy Cross has hit four of its last five shots to make it an 11-point game. Colgate led by as many as 19. Offensive foul, moving screen again. Tucker Richardson going back to back with fouls. Gates again, he attracts three defenders inside the paint and then a kick out and Nolan Dorsey knocks it down. So Kev, they actually called that foul on Lynch Daniels, his fourth called for the foul working against that screen. So, the only man in foul trouble. Five fouls for Colgate, three for Holy Cross. Face up, Gates inside, two more. Gerald Gates, don't look now, 12 points, and it's a nine point Crusader deficit. Halfway through the second half, plenty of time. Woodward too easy, found a wide open lane. Colgate wants the goaltending. Gates was called for his second foul, but he'll shoot two instead. Well, Holy Cross didn't hedge that screen at all. If you take a look at it, here's Woodward. Martindale had his back to the screen that time. Still a 5-0 run for Holy Cross. 9-2 in favor of the Crusaders over the last two and a half. So we're not done yet here on Mount St. James. 9.52 to go. And the Crusaders have made a habit of this all season long. 0 for 2 that time down. Well, great opportunity for Holy Cross. Martindale in the contest. Back to Gates. What else is new? Bumping bodies. Turn around. Left it short. Just couldn't get it over the top side of that iron. Richardson, hottest shooter on the floor. Right hand, hoop and harm. Are you kidding me, Tucker Richardson? Well, again, Richardson takes it right down the lane. You take a look at it. And he comes back with his right hand laying. You know, Kevin, he was just patient. He let things develop. He saw the gap, and he just took advantage of it. And he looks so calm and smooth on the drive. Richardson now with 22 points. That free throw would have matched his career high dating back to 2019. Tap last by the Raiders will stay here. Plenty of time left in this ball game. Holy Cross needs to go on a little bit of a run right now to get themselves in the momentum shifted. Right, Nelson said two most important factors in these final two home games. Max effort emo emotionally and mentally. And Holy Cross has done well to stay locked into this game. It felt out of reach when they were down 19. Turned over, given away by Martindale. Richardson faked the pass. Ferguson in no hurry. Now gets baseline into the corner. And last touch by Colgate. Well, threw it away. Raiders thought for sure that was deflected. Nolan Dorsey was bolting up the floor to say, not me. Back down low to Gates. Blocked and a foul. Again, Jarrell Gates takes it baseline. He has absolutely no fear, Kevin. Doesn't matter who he's going into. Very quick move here along the baseline. It's a third foul on Jeff Woodward. Banked in. A lot of help from the rim and the backboard for Jarrell Gates, but he's earned those bounces this season. Team leader in points, rebounds, assists, steals, and blocks in this game. 
Two for two. Shooter's touch on that first. 53. Colgate still in front. Holy Cross has never led in this game. Final eight minutes in change. They're in the penultimate home game for the Crusaders. A lot of growth this season to get back to seven and nine in league. But as it stands right now, a potential eighth place finish as we get a foul outside the arc. And it's on Cairo Luke. Looking around at some other scores in the Patriot League. A surprising score at halftime. Lafayette had a 33-31 lead at BU. Terriers have taken control, now up by 12. Lehigh blowing out American. Nearly turned over and Luke couldn't hang on. So we'll stay here with Colgate, 12 on the shot. So if Lafayette and Holy Cross both lose tonight, they will go to seven and 10 sort of knotted up in a potential tiebreaker for that 7-8 seed. Either of those spots would earn first round hosting duties. Off the mark, Gates has the rebound. Jack Ferguson couldn't get it to fall. Luke, quick three, good! Kyrell Luke makes it a six point game. Big bucket for the Crusaders there. Fans are starting to come to life. Momentum looks to be shifting a little bit. Slick pass. Now Cummings works inside, going to the line. Seven of 17 at the strike. You don't expect that from such an efficient offensive team. No good on both. Colgate leads the league in field goal shooting, three point percentage, but only fourth in free throws, 71%. Well, tonight certainly is not going to help them. Gates active in the lane, going to the line for three. Well, again, maybe his new nickname should be Smooth. Jarrell Smooth Gates. Great job here. He takes it hard to the basket. And a nice spin, drop, step, and a finish. Outstanding move. Are you not entertained? Jarrell Gates has left it all on the line for Holy Cross this season. 17 points in this game. He is going to war down low with the likes of Keegan Records. Well, let's remember the last time these two teams played, Gates did only score six points. So I'm sure there was a little bit of a revenge tour in his mind. Matt Langle said, we know Gates is gonna be a handful. And there's a foul on the Crusaders. Al Dorsey picks that up. Keegan Records was slipping from the elbow down. Both teams in the one and one, and we'll get a look at Records back at the line. One of four from the stripe in this game. Dorsey comes off the floor for Holy Cross after his fourth. Bo Montgomery replaces him. Colgate's gone scoreless the last 227. And the lead is back up to four. Big free throw that Colgate desperately needed. Two for two. Pretty clutch from Keegan Records back to a five point lead for Colgate. Trying to make it 13 straight wins against Holy Cross and 11 in a row in Patriot League play this season. Gates, nice save. Gets right into records, lost it between the legs. Humphrey dives in, deflected shot. Deja. Ferguson on the hop. Quick trigger in the corner. Lynch Daniels got it. Just like that, eight point lead for Colgate. What a response. Again, you take a look at the range that Daniels has. Martindale nifty with the right hand. Big bucket by Judson Martindale for the Crusaders. Nelly Cummings behind the back. Right back to him. Skip pass, whoa, thrown out of bounds. It's a turnover.
again, you take a look, here's Judson Martindale. Great job going off of the glass, lays it in, in traffic. And it's turning this game into a shootout, Kev. Teams have combined to go six of their last eight. Here's the first year point guard, Kyrell Luke. Why not? Gates, mid-range, got it again! Well, you said it, why not? Jarrell Gates had the space and just didn't hesitate whatsoever as he knocked it down. Big bucket. Holy Cross is red hot, nine of its last 10. Moffitt looking for help, handoff. Ferguson pestered by Martindale and floats it in. Good touch in the lane. Back to a six point game and Jarrell Gates is on the floor holding his wrist as he heads back to the sideline. So that'll freeze the action with 5.15 to go here in the second half. Well, you take a look, Ferguson goes hard to the basket again. He just was not gonna give that up. Over the top of Martindale. This was a 19 point lead for Colgate at the 18 minute mark in the second half. And Kev, I think we looked at each other and said, I, I don't know where Holy Cross goes from here, but the fight they've shown down the stretch, Luke, Gates, Kenny, they have carried the offense. 11 made shots in their last 13 attempts. That is high percentage, just like Colgate. Gates wants more. Humphrey out to Montgomery. Bounce pass to Gates, no good. Help short on that one a little bit. Crusaders need a stop in a six point game. Less than five to play. Foul called. That's on Montgomery. First foul on Bo Montgomery. Where would this team be in the last couple weeks without the growth of Bo Montgomery? Well, you had mentioned it earlier. I think that Bo, his confidence in his game has just escalated beyond belief, and it's made a world of difference. No good on the front end of the one and one for Lynch Daniels, another missed free throw. Colgate is nine of 20 at the strike. That has kept the Crusaders in it. Again, another big trip here for Holy Cross. And it all starts with Gerald Gates. Baseline, too high, and last touch by Gates. So it's Colgate basketball. Well, good hustle by Gates, but Holy Cross has got to start to score the basketball again on this end. Continues to work that hand. So I don't know if he fell on it, Kevin. I didn't see it, but uh, Jarrell Gates, certainly uh, that left hand is bothering him. Maybe the one thing that could slow him down. Ferguson deep, no good, and Gates gets the board. Gerald Gates has another double-double, 19 points, 10 rebounds, along with five assists. Martindale got turned away. Holy Cross scoreless, the last 150. Luke hangs, no good. Oh, nice job getting to the rim, he just couldn't finish. Split two defenders, Kev went hard to the basket. Colgate equally cold. No buckets to last 145. Holy Cross needs a stop here. Martindale stays with Richardson, and he's going back to the line for three. Teen here in the second half, but now Colgate's lead is 71-63 with 325 to go. No good for Richardson. Day an eight-point game. Richardson, if you're just joining us, New career high, 24 points on nine of 10 shooting from the floor. That's 90%, Kev. Well, I'll tell you what, if they were shooting that from the free throw line, the game wouldn't be where it is right now. Long rebound to Cummings, outnumbered on the break. And the clock is Colgate's friend. These Raiders, since 2017, lead the Patriot League in total wins, league wins, championship appearances, and regular season titles. Make it three during that stretch. 
after their win on Monday versus American. Deep three from Cummings, no good. And a rebound to Colgate. Ferguson wanted it more. It bounced right off the hands of Montgomery. Uh, that's exactly what happened. I don't think that uh, Mr. Montgomery was, uh, was prepared to grab that. It's kind of surprised. Cummings got tied up, jump ball. It goes back on NCAA tournaments, trying to make it a repeat trip after picking up the best seed in school history. A 14 seed last year, Colgate still looking for its first ever NCAA tournament win. Gates one on two, going to the line. He has got to be the most valuable player in this league to his individual team. Well, again, I think that you take a look and Gates, he just creates. If he sees an opening, he's able to get himself into and slide into that spot. Only a second foul on Keegan Records. And no good for Gates. I, I mean, you know what's coming each and every time down. But Colgate has done just enough to keep him at bay. He still has 19 and 11. It's been quite a night for Records and Gates. They're both filling up the stat sheet. Records is one rebound away from matching his career high of 14. Seven point game, two minutes and change. Well, when you look at the Patriot League, Gates is number two in rebounding with 8.3. And right behind him at number five is Keegan Records. Cummings with three to shoot, got it on the runner. Nine point game. Uh, that was a pretty shot right up over the top through the middle of the cylinder. Perfect pass, hoop and harm. Gates just keeps climbing. Jarrell has 22 points. Uh, what a great play between Montgomery and Gates. You take a look at it here. Gates to Montgomery, back to Gates on the slip. Nice finish and a chance for a three point play. Gates had a career best 32 against Bucknell here at the Hart Center on January 22nd. May not get to that number tonight, but he's been just as impactful. And what do you know, he's played 39 minutes. Hardly a breather for the senior from Charlotte, North Carolina. Still some work for the Raiders to do. Well, Colgate using that clock to their advantage, as you had mentioned. Ferguson brave with the pass. Cummings double clutch. Records with the left. Keegan records 25 points. That matches his career high. Tough pass inside, but it got there, and records finished. Nice finger roll by Judson Markdale, becoming more of a driver than a shooter. Dorsey always wants the tough assignment on defense. Going up against Richardson, looking to Nelson, who says no foul yet. 38 seconds to go, 75-68 Colgate. There's the screen, high side by Records. Richardson barely kept the pivot, turned it over. Gates galloping down the floor, transition three. No good for Luke. Loose ball, out of bounds off Colgate. Still some time for the Crusaders. Strongest players in the post in this entire league. He just does a great job. If you ever gave him three inches, he would be completely unstoppable. Martindale deep three, no good. Rebound to Cummings. Foul applied with 15.4 to go. And that could just about do it for Colgate. Third foul on Gerald Gates. Holy Cross already hit the limit. Quite a comeback in the second half by Holy Cross, trailed by as many as 19. Well, Kev, I've got to be honest. They really did a nice job of making it a game here in the second half. Took everything Holy Cross had to win last Saturday at Navy, a big underdog. Had a hard time sustaining the defensive intensity in the loss at Lafayette. Today, there was no lack of intensity, just some 
better play on the offensive end by Colgate. Three for Montgomery, good. 77-71, Moffitt got open and fouled by Dorsey. Again, Montgomery showing his range. Kyrell Luke, little handoff. Montgomery nails a three. Dorsey just fouled out with five. Great game offensively for Nolan Dorsey. Nine points, all from three-point range. But the Crusaders are going to be bested by the new standard in the Patriot League. Matt Langle has built a machine in Hamilton, New York. He told us earlier today his AP U.S. teacher, U.S. history teacher from high school, reached out to him in an email earlier this season. His history teacher played basketball at Princeton with great Bill Bradley. And his teacher said to Matt Langle, your team seems to genuinely enjoy playing together. They share the workload on both ends. That's the type of program that Langle played for at Penn under the great Fran Dunphy. And now he's built it all over again at Colgate. It took a couple years to get rolling. Patience is a virtue, especially early on for first time head coaches, but the payoff has been huge as the Raiders will be the one seed again in the Patriot League tournament. Montgomery, Wanted another, records, gets the rebound, and that's...